point of a fast is not for a car. The point of a fast is not for promotion. The point of a fast is not for bonus increase. If you are quote unquote fasting for any material thing, your fasting is an error. If you are fasting for things, your fasting is an error. The goal of a fast is for dependency on Christ. The point of a fast is crucifying the flesh because I want to become more like him. Why do I fast? Because I want Jesus. Because I need Jesus. Because I want to become like Jesus. Because I want to learn of Jesus. Because I want to hear from Jesus. Because I want to grow in Jesus. Because I want my life to depend fully on him. And not on substances. And not on things. And not on friends. And not on material possession. And not on my job. And not on my relationship. And not on, oh my God. I want to depend on him fully. The point of a fast is because you want to depend on him. It's to draw closer to him. Where are the people that are hungry and want to go deeper in prayer? It will save your life. Jesus will pray all night. If Jesus prayed all night as the son of the living God, the Hamashiach, the anointed and appointed one to bring salvation, the blameless lamb of God who takes the sin of the world, operating in the fullness of the stature of the glory of God. And he prayed, what about you? He will pray to have results in his life, to have impact and effect in his life. Because if there's no prayer, there's no power. A prayerless life is a powerless life. And I've said it many times, one week, seven days without prayer makes one week. One W-E-E-K makes one W-E-A-K. One week without prayer makes one spiritually weak. When you go days without prayer, it affects everything in your life. It affects your mood. It affects your behavior. It affects your outlook on life. It affects your speech. It affects your marriage. It affects the way you parent your children. It affects the way you lead. It affects you at work. It makes you weak when you don't pray. But after today, you will be powerful because of prayer. You will not let days go on without prayer. But you will be a diligent seeker as the Bible declares in the book of Hebrews. Because the Bible states that he is a rewarder. Oh my God. There it is again. There it is again. Ask, seek, knock. He is a rewarder of what, Lord? I want to know what you reward. You want to know what he rewards? Diligently seeking. Diligently seeking. Diligently seeking. He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Asking, seeking, knocking. Asking, seeking, knocking. Asking, seeking, knocking. He is a rewarder of those that persist in prayer.